Now, let's start reading about blood vessels. Now, blood vessels are hollow tube-like structures that transport blood throughout the body. These are nothing less uh, like the pipes. So, through these pipes, the blood flows throughout the body. So, there are of three types. What are the three types? Arteries, veins and capillaries. Now, if you will see this artery, uh, nicely you can see it here. You can see this artery. So, artery are thick wall. That means their walls are thick and they are very elastic and molecular vessels. These arteries carry blood, pure blood away from the heart to the parts of the body. Now, if you can see here, each artery is made up of three layers. So, external layer, middle layer and the inside layer, lumen. So, it has a thick layer. Why? Because the heart directly pumps blood into the arteries. So, with a great pressure. So, arteries have very thick layer. Only one artery is there. That is the pulmonary artery. This one which carries the impure blood to the lungs. Rest all arteries carries pure blood from heart to all parts of the body. Now arteries further branch into arterioles and arterioles into fine capillaries. So arteries are the, uh, you can say the thick walled elastic vessels which again branch into thinner arteries then into arterioles, arterioles into fine capillaries. These fine capillaries goes uh, are present in the lungs where there is a gaseous exchange takes place between the capillaries and the what you can say alveoli of lungs because capillaries are only one cell thick. Now we'll learn about the second one or these blue colored ones. These are the veins. Now let's read about veins. So veins carry blood back to the heart. Now this blood which they carry back to the heart is deoxygenated blood. Means the blood which is rich in carbon dioxide and dissolved materials. Except the one which is the pulmonary vein coming from the lungs. If you can see here. So there is a pulmonary vein coming from the heart. So these uh, uh, shows you the that this one see this the superior vena cava is there which is bringing blood from the body here is also inferior vena cava so one vein is there see here is a pulmonary vein which brings the pure blood from the lungs so only this vein is there which is red in color which brings the pure blood from lungs to heart but what happens rest of the veins which are blue in color they bring the impure blood from the body from the head up to the toe from each and every tissues now veins again branch into smaller veins veins into then from into venules venules into capillaries okay so the veins also have got the three layers but what is the difference between the artery and the vein is that though bl uh, blood uh, flows in a very, uh, you can say, low pressure in veins. So, they have got this thin layer, not a thick layer like artery. But here you can see is a door like valve. Okay. This valve prevents the backward flow of blood in the veins. So, veins are those uh, blood uh, vessels which carries the impure blood from the body to the heart except pulmonary vein. So here blood flows under very low pressure and they have valves. So what happens if you can see here, if you can see here again. So because of this the lumen of the vein is thicker than the lumen of the artery so it is very smaller and it is bigger so let's now read about the third type that is the capillaries or as you can see here see here the capillaries see capillaries are there so capillaries are very fine blood vessels 
which is about one uh, uh, cell thick. So, they are very tiny blood vessels that carry blood deep into the organs and tissues. Now, tissues have also a tissue fluid where the exchange of what materials takes place between the bloods and the tissues. And these capillaries are very fine. These are what one micro, uh, these are one cell thick. So, they are very, uh, you can say they are microscopic. Now, we will come to the uh, revision of what we have learned. So, well, let's revise what we have learned here. Again, artery is the largest blood vessels that carries blood away from the heart and carries materials that the cells need like oxygen and nutrients. Only those which is at the heart means the pulmonary artery carries the impure blood. Rest carry the pure blood. See about the veins. They carry blood back to the heart and carry the blood with dissolved materials except the pulmonary vein which is coming uh, from the lungs to the heart. So, they uh, bring the impure blood from the body to the heart. They are also medium sized. Now, come to the uh, capillaries. So, capillaries are the blood vessels that carry blood to and from the heart and other parts of the body. They are very thin here like blood vessels. They are only one cell thick. So, they are microscopic. How the blood flows here. So, the oxygenated blood which comes from here to the arteries, it is carrying the nutrients and the oxygen. Now, this passes through the arterioles. Now, from the arterioles, if you can see. See. So, this blood which is carrying the oxygen and the nutrients. Now, from arteries it passes to the arterioles. So, what happens? These arterioles again merge into fine capillaries and here what happens? The capillaries goes to the tissues. Now, when it goes to the tissues, suppose this is the capillary. So, when this capillary goes to the tissues, Okay, so there is an exchange coming from. So, from blood what goes? Oxygen goes here and nutrients also goes. Okay, by the process of diffusion. Diffusion and from here the tissues, the carbon dioxide comes out because what happens in the tissues there is more carbon dioxide in the blood there is less so what happens the flow goes from higher to lower means where the concentration is more like here oxygen is more and nutrient is more here is uh, less so what will happen this oxygen and this nutrient will come from the higher portions okay here it is high so it will come to the area where it is low so the oxygen will flow towards the tissue and the nutrients will go to the tissue and the carbon dioxide and the waste materials will go now again what happens blood has what you can say hemoglobin this hemoglobin carries this carbon dioxide and waste products are carried into the plasma and they go again to the capillaries now when they go again to the capillaries now these capillaries here they go to the venules from here to the veins. Now veins cap carry the waste material to the kidney and the impure blood. That means the blood which is rich in uh, carbon dioxide to the heart to here. So what happens here? So when this will bring the, uh, bring the blood from the to the heart from the body to the heart see here from the body to the heart again this will go come here then from here what will happen it will come here again the blood it will pump and the blood will go to the lungs so this way again it will be purified so this process continues throughout the life of an individual once more you see from here what happens the veins bring this veins bring the blood from the body to the heart so what happens this blood contains the waste gases the carbon dioxide 
and what happens now from the heart the blood goes to the lungs now here exchange of gases takes place and what happens the blood becomes rich in oxygen now again these are carried back to the heart heart pumps it to the lower and the upper parts of the body here again what happens the there is exchange of the gases and the waste materials so again what happens this uh, exchange um, happens between the capillaries and the tissues again the capillaries connected with the veins they, they are they carry the blood which is rich in carbon dioxide back to the heart now you know about the uh, blood vessels so these are the homework questions for today